Hey, it's me, Mr. Jason. Now, before we get into our video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button as well as that notification bell so that you know whenever we upload. Also, don't forget to comment down below a book that you would like for us to read together. I love requests. And when I get requests, that lets me know that you're out there listening and watching. And we love that here at Read Aloud with Mr. Jason. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And don't forget, keep reading. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. To wherever you are in the world, my name is Mr. Jason, and today I have a read aloud for you. Welcome back to another episode of Read Aloud with Mr. Jason. The last time we read together, we read a story entitled A Good Night's Sleep. And I thought that it was going to be the last of our Ricky Read About Science books that we were going to read together. However, I went digging deep into my library. So much so, I almost got lost. But guess what? I found several more Ricky Read About Science books for us to read together. This time around, we're going to continue with matter. That's right. If you've been following along, we've been talking about all the different forms of matter. And today, we're going to read about water. And if you've been following along, then you know that we've talked about matter in previous stories, such as what is matter, solids, liquids, and gases, as well as it could still be water. So following that theme, we're going to continue with will it float or sink? Now, just like the rest of our Ricky Read About Science books, there are a few words that you need to know, such as golf ball, maple syrup, metal spoon, ping pong ball, and plastic spoon. As we read our story, keep those eyes open for the sight words that you see here on our list. Also, for the parents and the teachers that are watching, here are a few key developmental indicators this particular story teaches. So join us as we read together, Will It Float or Sink? Words by Melissa Stewart and Read Alouds with Mr. Jason. Will It Float or Sink? Words by Melissa Stewart. A boat can float in water, so can a plastic spoon, but a metal spoon sinks. A plastic spoon and a metal spoon are made of matter. So are a ping pong ball and a golf ball. Everything in the world is made of matter. A ping pong ball and a golf ball are about the same size, but a ping pong ball is much lighter than a golf ball. That is because it has less matter in the same amount of space. A ping pong ball is also lighter than water. That's why it floats. The golf ball is heavier than water. And that's why it sinks. Ping pong balls are full of air. So are soccer balls and beach balls. Why can things that are full of air float? Because air is so light. A metal spoon sinks, but a large metal pot floats. Why can a metal pot float? Because it is full of air. When an object is put into a liquid, the object pushes against the liquid. The liquid pushes back. If the object is lighter than the liquid, the liquid can push it back above the surface. Then it floats. Some boats are very big and very heavy. They can float because they have a lot of air inside. All that air makes the boat lighter than the water in the ocean. If you fill a metal pot with rocks, it will sink. If people load too many things onto a boat, it can sink too. Ping pong balls and plastic spoons 
don't just float in the water, they can float in other liquids too. Maple syrup is a liquid that is heavier than water. It has more matter in the same amount of space. Some things that don't float on water can float on maple syrup. An egg is too heavy to float in water, so it sinks. But an egg can float in maple syrup. Did you know that some liquids can float on other liquids? Water is lighter than maple syrup. Water can float on top of maple syrup. Corn oil is lighter than water. Corn oil can float on top of water. What else can float? What else can sink? <laughs> Let's find out. As an extension for this particular story, you can do your own sink or float activity at home or in the classroom. All you have to do is get a pot of water, a few objects from around the house or the classroom, and just see if they sink or if they float. Be sure to document and save for later if you decide to do another experiment. Well, I had a blast reading with you like I always do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and continue to share these stories to your friends and family, and really honestly, any and everybody you come in contact with. The more you share, the more we grow. <laughs> well, with that being said, thank you again for reading with me. I can't wait to read again with you soon. And don't forget, keep reading. <laughs>